Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to another video by Marketing with WP. And in this video, we're gonna talk about SEO Press as another component. This is gonna be title and meta description um, editing. So if you have SEO Press and you're wondering how to change your title and description, how to set your title and description, um, this, that's what we're gonna talk in this video, okay? So if you go to your WordPress dashboard, um, let me share my screen. Um, there's a few options. There's a place where you can set your title and description on a global level. So the SEO press plugin allows you to do it on a global level. And that's what it's called. If you go to SEO tiles and meta, you will see there's home, there's post types. So here you can do it on a global level, meaning you just set it here and it'll automatically do it. Or you can do it on a post level where it will create meta title and description according to what you've assigned on that particular post um set so the post level overrides the global level okay uh what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new post uh we're gonna completely edit it put put content in it and we'll show you how um the title and description can be edited okay um so first thing first you go to post right you're creating a new blog post so you would go to post, post um, and you can see we already have three posts. Um, how does it look? Our blogs already shows that we have three posts. There's make money blogging, ultimate guide to becoming a WordPress expert, and also how to create SEO friendly websites. Um, again, mind you, these are dummy content uh, created with AI writers just for reference and for tutorials. Uh, these are not real hand written or human written content. I'm using a particular tool to do this just for demo demo demonstration and demo purpose. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead. Oh, that's my mic, by the way. Um, okay. All right. So our post is going to be on how to get free organic traffic from search engines with SEO. Um, so the title of the post is this. I'm just going to copy and paste data because I've already made it available. I have my title, I got my introduction content, I can unbold it. Then there is H2, which is after H1. There is content, there is H2. And then there is subtopics under H2. So it, there is H3, 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 and then there's the conclusion. Okay, great, long paragraph. And that's how a typical content is followed. Uh, what I do want to add in this is a, um, if I go to settings, I go to post I do want to add a featured image okay so I'm gonna select a featured image from my downloads folder which is already ready um, now let me copy and paste the featured image I did add an alt tag as well and I do want to save draft so I can edit the permalink um, and the permalink how to get free organic traffic from search engines with SEO um, I would make it shorter, usually five to seven words, uh, whatever makes it easy for people to understand because this is a pretty long permalink. Um, I might just remove how, it might say get free organic traffic from search engine with SEO or just free organic traffic with SEO because of course you're gonna get the traffic from search engines anyway. Um, but the heading can be longer, right? The main H1. So that's my permalink, okay? so. Let me publish it. As you can see, we've only written the content, put the featured image, but there is no um, title and description set. In SEO Press, how do you set it up? So if you scroll all the way down, um, you will see a place to do it. It's under SEO, you see title and description. Um, what I normally do is I put the same title as my headline H1. And for description, I've written a dummy, dummy content, right? Uh, learn how to get organic traffic. Okay, so this is the one I want to put. This is my dummy content. And um, my keyword, my keyword might be get free organic traffic. Okay, so how to get free, get free organic traffic. That might be my keyword. Um, and I'm going to put it here just for you, but I need to uh, update it and refresh 
actually I just need to publish or update and then you'll analyze you'll say um, how everything is if, if the keyword is in the title you know the keyword is in the meta title and everything so it's gonna do all of that now let me break it down so basically if you have a blog post and you want the content of the blog post to be shown in search engines in a particular way and you want the content to be ranked in a particular way SEO press allows you to do that right and that's with title meta description your permalink um, the basics of on page SEO is if the search term or the keyword is exactly matching the title the description and it's also in um, the URL then search engine ranks it, ranks it faster usually if if there's no other competing websites that's higher authority than you like that's the basic thing um, so what we've done is in title you put in the headline so it could be your title of the post but make sure your keyword that you want to aim for is there so get free organic traffic get free organic traffic it's here that's my target keyword um, on the description itself I've written down get free organic traffic get free organic traffic right and um, if, it, if it's shown in Google this is how it will show you know how to get free organic traffic from search engine with SEO how to get free organic traffic from some search engine with SEO right so that's what would show up um, and there's the featured image as well so if I share it to social media it will look beautiful uh, what I mean is if I were to share in Facebook it will look like this uh, best of loop tool by best of loop tool because the author is like that uh, I could definitely change that um, but it's very visual because of my exact ratio of the image right so it is very simple to set up title you go over here you enter your title you enter your description uh, if you want to run a content analysis you put in the keyword but make sure it's updated if you do not update it it does not run the analysis properly so make sure the post is updated or published after you add a keyword otherwise uh, it doesn't work because um, the data has not been published to the website so when SEO press runs that analysis um, it doesn't see the most updated stuff right but that's pretty much it and it's pretty simple to see what happens now um, we just want to confirm okay I just want to confirm if it worked or not so let's click on this post and see if it's visible so clearly the post has been published um, the category is WordPress I would like to change it um, the category is actually search engine optimization uh, let me update it right so I would update this um, there you go so it's been updated um, now let me see with another tool how it looks um, so you see the most recent post is already here how to get free organic traffic from search engines with SEO I click on it and I use the quick check tool of course it says the description is short it can be longer um, it says 95 characters it needs to be over 122 um, certain amount it says over here but you can see how it looks right so the title is set already the description is set um, this says keyword is missing because it's using most probably how do you say Yoast's feature so I, I we don't care about that uh, this feature is already taken over it's no more valid uh, in Google anymore you know so uh, but I just want to see how it looks you know so the image is there the headers are there um, and this is the content structure right so h1 is the main topic second is what is SEO third is sorry h2 another one is how to use SEO to get organic traffic and there is subheadings and then there's conclusion and there these are other things which is cool that's fine um, but in simplicity you saw how easy it is to set up um, title and description in SEO press um, again this is on a how do you say this is on a post level right um, but if you were lazy and you did not want to set up uh, this specific um, title and description let me actually do this let me remove it from here okay and let me put it in the ex ex excerpt this time and let me update it so now if I were to refresh it um, it would show that there uh, let me see okay cool let me actually do this as well let me remove from here as well update um, is there a way to clear a cache no okay Let's see so 
okay so now it's actually getting the content the whole content you see it's there is the the custom description we set is not here anymore because it's using um, the whole thing as description uh, that's what happens if you don't set any but if you realize what happens is when I put in an excerpt and it was pulling the excerpt um, dynamically so in SEO press you can actually assign automated titles and description right so if I go to SEO press titles and meta I can create a template and in the template what I did was if the, the thing is this if there is no uh, per post title and description set I can give it a global title and description and there is a dynamic global title and description I can set and in that case I put in the post title and the separator right so actually if I go back and I remove this there you go boom right it's so I do not have any title and description um, let me refresh it just to show you that it's changed now like earlier it was just this much but you will see the templates different now you see there's the website over here so what happened in this case is with my dynamic template I told hey I told SEO press saying hey SEO press if I've not manually set up title and description please use this template where the post title separator and the site title is the title of the content the blog post and use post excerpt as the um, how do you say as the meta description okay and that's what's happened um, but if you see I've removed the excerpt right so let me copy just want to verify you that there's no description and it's getting from the body because you can see right now let me add the description we use in an excerpt update right and then go here and see what happens so you've seen that it's using the default templated dynamic template we've given on a global basis to use it right so that's how you can control let's say you do not want to go on an individual post basis and update the SEO title it's fine you could actually do it on a global instead of a post by post basis right and, and you can see how I did it it's basically I use the same title because I told SEO press to use post title um, and instead of having a description I put in the excerpt as my description and SEO press did the rest which was shown over here right so title description so you have two options how you want to set up title and description um what's the benefit of one over the other the thing is most of the times when we talk about blogs or website we're only thinking in terms of posts right um, for a complicated website there might be thousands and thousands of content and it might not make sense um, to go on a per post basis to set up content you know to give you an example I have another website the main one the marketing with WP website and in here we have different resources apps and plugin reviews and there's quite a bit right so I do not want to go on a post by post basis to edit title and description um, you see I have quite a few reviews for different tools so what I do is I actually go to titles and metas and then I do the same thing so if it's post type this is apps post types right so we would go to apps post types and I wrote the app name review um, the current year and the tagline of the custom field so you can actually really make it dynamic if you have custom fields you can insert custom fields custom taxonomies you could insert custom taxonomies in here um, I will create a separate tutorial for that an easier one but you can see it creates a unique unique uh, title and description depending on what content I have right so this is super dynamic um, it's going on a different level right um, in, instead of a simple static uh, title and description so what does it look like I'll give you an example so let's say I'm using let's say I'm gonna review Canva and I wanna send the signal of title and description to Google look what I've done if you click on the inspect 
for title and description, look, it says Canva Review 2022 because I've put in the year as dynamic variable and it says best all-in-one digital content creation tool, which is the tagline of the tool, okay? And then I say Canva Review, which is the tool again, it's feature pros, cons, and alternatives in 2022 because in SEO, you have the year is more relevant, right? It's more new information, so the year. Um, so I put the tagline again saying why it is like that. So this is a very templated approach. And the best part is I don't have to, if, if I were to change something, I don't need to go and change on every post. I could just do it on a global level over here. I could do it on a global level and it would automatically do it for all the posts. So you see the difference, right? Uh, if you're a beginner and you're trying to fiddle around stuff, no problem, I would say go ahead, do it on an individual post level. But if you have a lot of contents and you have dynamic contents and you have really a load of list of posts, right? Like a lot of products or whatever, maybe using a global template from uh, titles and metas over here might make more sense, right? So that's the beauty of SEO Press. Um, again, this feature is actually available in the free version. Um, um, so give it a shot, try it, play it around. Um, if you have any questions, you let me know. I'll try to answer it. Uh, otherwise, best of luck with your SEO Press journey. And if you are interested, we have a SEO Press Pro course on our website. Do check it out. Um, I usually run giveaways on them as well. Um, you just need to put in your email information and do a few things to participate and get on top of the list. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to be providing more tutorials on SEO Press on how to use schemas, dynamic variables, dynamic templates, right? So stay around, stick to the channel, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I hope to see you again. All right, have a good one.